And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured in, in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has given to us. Romans 5 verse 3 to 5 Reading God's promises is very encouraging as we go through life, and it raises our belief to become what God created us to be. I've experienced and seen a number of times at the start of the year when a word is spoken that gives direction as to what, what to do in that particular season. It gets people fired up and ready to step into a place of dominion. The only problem, however, is that God doesn't promise that what he says will come easy or that it will happen quickly. That's the part most of us aren't prepared for when we're pursuing our God-given dreams. And more often than not, this leads to disappointment. The level of disappointment you experience is the difference between what you expect and the reality of your situation. Genesis 37-50 to narrates the story of Joseph, who eventually became the governor of Egypt after 13 years. He had a dream at the age of 17 that he would reign over his brothers, and he probably didn't expect to go through what followed after that. His own brother sold him as a slave to the land of Egypt. He was wrongfully accused of sexual assault and thrown into prison for two years. Now, no matter how optimistic you are or think you are, I'm pretty sure you'd have a hard time believing for some kind of miracle in that situation. Like, honestly speaking, who would care about the welfare of a prisoner? The chief baker, whose dream Joseph had interpreted, forgot about him as well. He was probably his only hope, right? Even if it appeared as though he was forgotten, God was aware of his situation all the time. He elevated Joseph to the second highest position in Egypt on overnight, and all of a sudden that changed the trajectory of his life. By this time, Joseph was 30 years old and his dream had become a reality. Before you get a breakthrough, you are going to go through a crucible to prepare you for the blessing God is preparing. Sometimes we even get angry with God when our dreams don't come to pass right away. And most times it's because we are not yet ready for the breakthrough. If your breakthrough came right away, it will probably destroy you and God wants to keep you from that kind of devastation. This is what happens with most people that win lotteries. Because they aren't mature enough to handle the large sums of money. They blow it recklessly and end up in worse positions than they were initially. It's not always the case that the devil is fighting against you. At times it's God allowing certain things to happen so that it builds up your capacity to handle the responsibilities that come with your dream. Joseph's 13 years of hell were more like preparation for that position of garden in Egypt. The main lesson to pick up from his experience is that he was faithful every he was placed. When he was serving in Potiphar's house, he managed all that was under his care, such that Potiphar didn't worry about anything. His household was blessed because of Joseph's presence. When he was thrown in prison, the prisoners were put under his care because of his ability to manage and look after everyone. When he was going through those hardships, it obviously didn't seem as though it would count for anything. But all these experiences were building up his capacity to manage an entire nation. So even if you find yourself in a job that you hate, remain faithful and give it your best. There are probably certain aspects of that job that you'll need when your big break comes. Because with God, no experience is ever a waste. He uses every situation, whether positive or negative, for your greater good. Challenging times also teach us not to rely on the help of men. Yes, God uses other people to help us prosper. What I'm referring to here is that your hope should not lie or rest in a man. There will be times when people can't be there for you, not because they don't want to, but because of events that are beyond their control. I would like to think that was one of the main lessons that Joseph learned when the chief baker did not make mention of him to Pharaoh. Stuck in the dungeon, he hoped that the baker would remember the good that he had done for him and perhaps make mention of him to Pharaoh so that he could get out of prison. 
Is it not like everyday life? You help other people in their quests and they somehow forget about you in your time of need. Or they begin to look down upon you instead. It's painful to say the least and feelings of resentment can easily build up because you feel like you're used or taken advantage of. Trust me, I know the feeling because I've been there as well. It takes a lot to let go of that kind of resentment, which can be done with the help of the Holy Spirit. My pastor shared with us not too long ago the middle verse of the Bible. That verse is Psalm 118 verse 8 which says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. It's quite profound when you think about it. Because trusting in God never leaves you disappointed. You just have to be patient. Joseph was elevated above the beggar and even Potiphar's wife who was the cause of getting him thrown into prison. It's obviously something he couldn't have predicted would happen in his life. Only God could have caused that to happen. So even if you find yourself in such positions, know that God can do the impossible and elevate you to greater heights. In fact, your moments of hardship have a way of exposing people's true characters. You get to see who your friends are as well as your enemies. While the experience may be painful, it's necessary because having adversaries in your circle when you've been elevated to greater heights could be pretty dangerous. Who is to say that they won't sabotage your destiny when they see you uh, get to a higher position? Every time you rise higher, there are people you need to take with you and there's some people that you need to leave behind. Continue to persevere through those difficult times because they will soon come to pass. One thing you mustn't allow are roots of bitterness to grow in your heart. Bitterness will cloud your judgment and keep you from seeing the big picture of what God is doing in your life. Once Joseph got into his position of authority, he easily could have killed or tortured his brothers for what they had done to him. It couldn't have been easy to do given what he had gone through from the time they had sold him. He remained grounded and didn't retaliate, allowing God to do his work through him for a greater good. Forgiveness is certainly a powerful experience despite the magnitude of the pain inflicted by the offender. Your time of vindication will certainly come if you hold on. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And perseverance always lasts persecution.